Hello! In this tutorial on C++ I want to show you the operators again. So I want to talk you about the modulus operator which actually a person sign and I want to talk you the bitwise operators. Okay, let's get started. Uh, the modulus I will give you the uh, reminder after division. So write out for example 4 modulus 3 and make a new line and this will give 1 because uh, it's divi divide 4 with 3 actually so make <coughs> a division which so mm, let's compile it and actually save it before compile it okay as you can see it's right on okay because in 4 the 3 is there is 1 3 and then 1 reminder okay with 5 we will get 2 as the reminder as you can see and if I press Six, the six uh, pair three is exactly two, so it will give zero reminder, as you can see. Okay, I hope you that you understand this, and that was the first part of this tutorial. Now the binary uh, operators come to demonstrate you the binary operators I have to write a function which write out a number uh, binary so uh, yeah write a uh, void write binary actually make it a little smaller binary okay and make uh, alright and there is two way actually to do that one is just simple go on so as you no, to have to make a decimal number to binary but the other we will use the bit so the bit set this is a standard container I think I didn't talk about that and you will find that on the page I linked in the STL containers uh, lesson tutorial so we will use bit set and how many uh, binary uh, numbers do we want so how long should it be mm, 8 should be enough and then what do we want to make to binary this is the A and then it has a member function called to string and this will be just give back the string version so to string like that and actually write it out so yeah and okay simple enough now if just test it out so if it work or not so binary 10 all right actually make it uh, 16 because 16 if I remember well 3 uh, 1 in the end of the number so yeah 3 1 or not oh mm. so yeah it work that is exactly that so here it is so we can write out any number and you will get what is the binary uh, is from that so make two variables so int a equal 42 and b equal I don't know 50 okay and just write out the binary a and the binary b and write out a line above them. 
so it is like a division or any other normal arithmetic operation okay and now write out the a and b so it is uh, watch that I careful that I use one and sign not two so because if I use two of them it mean a logical and and this uh, that will be give the binary to one I use just one this is mean the so binary not logical okay and let's run it after I put a semicolon here so let's run it okay and as you can see uh, there there is two uh, one about each other so yeah that that will be give one there there is a one and a zero that will give zero there there is one one that will give one where when there is zero zero that will give zero this is actually the same as we used to use the logical and so if both of them is true then it will give true uh, as it will give fourth so yeah if i put three uh, numbers and make them and so use the logical and to them uh, there both three is one that will be just one so if there is a zero that give it false okay simple enough now use the or operator the or is actually a pipe a vertical line actually okay I use one again because this is not logical so this is uh, yeah this is binary operator bitwise okay and as you can see the difference it will give one and one uh, to one so if both of one it will give one but if there is just one one it will give one okay so actually we can say that if there is one in it then it will give one so not not matter how many zero if there is a one it will give one and as you can see it is binary operator because uh, it will use every single bit actually you know what just uh, write out the actual value too okay so as you can see the 42 and the 50 if we use the or relationship it will give 58 all right uh, now there is other operators like there is only one operand uh, binary uh, so binary negate operator we use the tilde sign and uh, the actual number so like a and this will give the binary uh, negate so it will negate every bit as you can see where there were there were zero then become one where there were one it becomes zero okay it is just as simple as that all right uh, now let's take a look another operator which actually uh, wasn't uh, in the logical operator this is a XOR exclu exclusive OR alright so we use this this sign I don't know how is it called and not one we use A and B okay so we use this exclusive OR sign don't know how is it called okay and as you can see it will give one if the different if they different so if the first bit is different so it will give one in case of one zero and zero one if one one or zero zero it will not give it will give false okay and there is now 
the binary shift operator viewed that from the beginning of the programming in C++ but we only use the overloaded version of this so the write-out and the uh, read-in so actually because uh, this is not needed for now I delete this and we <coughs> shift it with one in this direction so in left I think uh, yeah let's run it and as you can see uh, everything is shifted so uh, this one big uh, which were, were the second place from back uh, uh, now in the third place of ba from back this one which were the fourth place from back this is now the fifth place from back so everything is actually shifted it is just as simple as that with one decimal place if I press two decimal place everything will be shifted to you see everything is shifted to uh, yeah that's it all right and uh, as you can see it's becomes the dup the duplicate so we uh, multiply by two every time so this is just as simple as that okay the other operator work like this so this uh, direction and one this will be uh, shift with the other direction as you can see because we shift it there will be a zero so in this case it's upper somewhere uh, zeros comes in as you can see now uh, zero comes in from here if you shift it with two and as you can see uh, one of the zero is disappear so we shift out <laughs> and uh, just zeros came in so it will not uh, like a cycle so the one will come back here so yeah I just want to show you these operators although this is not really useful in lot of cases uh, mostly if you programming in higher level but in case of lower level it could be very very uh, important alright Thank you for watching and have a great day.